The Navigator panel lets you zoom into your design and pan around to view specific areas. You can also add and remove custom viewpoints, which are saved zoom levels and positions. It should be nested in the lower right studio when you open the app. However, if it isn't, you can access the panel by clicking the window menu and selecting Navigator. I'll just click drag to float the panel onto the workspace. If you hover the cursor over the edges of the panel, you can drag them out to increase the size. You can increase or decrease the zoom levels using the slider and the zoom percentage will be displayed next to it. You can also click the plus and minus icons to jump up and down the zoom levels. For finer zoom adjustments, you can scroll up or down on the zoom percentage value or left click it and input a value of your own and then press enter to update the workspace. If the document exceeds the workspace, a view rectangle will appear on the preview. You can hold the left mouse button and drag this around the document preview in the panel and the document view will display the area enclosed in the view rectangle. If you want to return to a particular zoom level and position in your document, you can click the panel preferences and select save current viewpoint. If this is the first viewpoint that you've saved in the document, a pop-up menu will appear on the panel. As you save different viewpoints, they will be added to this list. You can also rename the viewpoints to something more relevant. Make sure that the viewpoint that you want to rename is currently selected, then open the panel preferences and select Rename Viewpoint. Type in a new name for your viewpoint and click OK to commit the change. If you no longer need a viewpoint, make sure that it's selected and then open the panel preferences and choose Remove Selected Viewpoint. There are a few ways to quickly switch between viewpoints without returning to the Navigator panel. You can open the view menu and select either Move to Previous Viewpoint or Move to Next Viewpoint, or you can also assign keyboard shortcuts to these actions. To create custom keyboard shortcuts, open the title menu and select Settings. On Windows, you'll find this under the Edit menu. Open the Shortcuts tab and then look in the second drop down menu, which contains UI elements and select the view menu. Scroll down until you find move to previous viewpoint and move to next viewpoint. To assign a keyboard shortcut to the action, click the empty box to the right and then use your keyboard to input a keyboard shortcut that you'd like to use. I'll initially assign Command Z and we can see that a warning triangle has appeared. This means that this keyboard shortcut is already used for a different action. I can hover over it to find out which action it is currently assigned to. Command Z is of course used for the undo action, so I'll select the box again and try Option Z. I'll use Option A to move to previous viewpoint. Now I can close the settings dialog and try out my new keyboard shortcuts. These keyboard shortcuts also allow you to cycle through your viewpoints, so when you reach your last viewpoint, moving to next viewpoint will take you back to your first viewpoint again. You can return to the view menu at any time to quickly check which keyboard shortcuts you assigned to these actions. So that was a quick look at the Navigator panel and how to assign custom keyboard shortcuts. Thanks for watching.